Have you ever thought back at a time where you did something bad or extremely embarrassing? And you think to yourself, wow, I wish I could just go back in time to make sure that never happened. But you could actually do it. You could actually go back and stop it from ever happening. Really? So how do I do it? <laughs> well, all you have to do is destroy all life on Earth. <laughs> Simple enough, right? Uh, well that's one man's plan. And his name is Noximillion the Watchmaker. Now for those of you who are just trying to figure out why I'm making this video since my channel is mostly gaming content, I love games, but I also love stories and story writing, especially when it comes in the form of 2D animation. Animation is such a big part of my life, as games are, so I decided why not shake things up and talk about some of these things that I really enjoy. Plus it's my freaking channel so I can do whatever I want. So Nox is the villain in Walk Food, the animated series, which is a French animated television series produced by Enkama Animation, based on the video game Walk Fu. Now, I've never played Wong Fu the game, so anyone who is well experienced in the lore and the story, I'm sorry if I get anything wrong, I've, I've only seen the show. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen the show, obviously this video is going to provide major spoilers for the first season, so if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you do if you're into fantasy action adventure. Just please, whatever you do, do not watch the English dub. Okay, let's go! So if you don't care to watch the show, I'll just tell you a quick rundown of Season 1. Season 1 starts off with a mysterious old man traveling with a baby carriage. Inside this baby carriage is a boy named Yugo, who is the protagonist of the story. We also see Nox, who is curious about this old man, for he has a very large amount of Wakfu. Wakfu being pretty much the world's energy. We learn that Nox is after this energy and tries to gather it by any means. So they get into a little tussle and oh my god he can stop time. If that's not broken I don't know what is. So fast forward a bit, Yugo is older and he discovers that he has powers like any main protagonist. And he learns that his father isn't really his father like any main protagonist. He sets out on a journey to find out who he really is and where he came from with the help of the other main characters. All while Nox the villain proceeds to ruin every single one of their lives. But let's not worry about them. We're here to talk about Nox. Nox, or otherwise known as Noximillion the Watchmaker, starts off as a fairly normal, caring guy. He has a wife and kids and loves to invent new things. Besides everything going well in his life, he never really felt accomplished. He wanted his inventions to be the next big thing. He wanted to be heard of. He wanted to be someone. But it all just seemed impossible. That is, until one day, while showing off one of his new inventions, he stumbled across a cave entrance that led down a glowing path in a cave filled with water. Inside the water was a strange object called the Elia Cube, a device with so much potential and power, but unusable in the hands of someone unworthy. Nox takes this object and studies it. He learns so many new things about it, and it seems like all his previous ideas that were impossible could now be possible with the help of this cube. But it slowly consumes him. His wife worries more and more, as each passing day he grows more decrepit than the last, trying to figure out every little detail of this cube. He barely ever spends time with his wife and children anymore, until a month later he finds out that his wife had left him and took the children to go live with her sister, because she couldn't bear to see him change. He realized what he had become, and decided to leave his inventions to find his family, but the cube didn't allow him. It called to him, and he answered. It had fully consumed him. What seemed like several months that had passed, we see Nox once again, but completely changed. The Nox we know is gone, and what was taken over is a shell, only powered by the cube. The Debt Collector Man informs Nox about his family, and how the island that they were living on had been swallowed completely by the sea, due to Ogre's chaos. At first, Nox doesn't believe him, but he sees visions of the island and how it truly was destroyed. Nox's mind breaks as he realizes that he had lost everything. The cube had taken everything from him, and that it was too late for him to do anything. The cube speaks back to him, telling him that it can't be too late if he were just to go back. Now while he was learning about the cube, he was able to learn about Zeller magic. Zellers are time mages who manipulate time and space. With the help of the Ilya cube, he can go back in time to stop all of his mistakes. He can become more powerful than the god Zeller himself. All he needs is an ungodly amount of Wakfu to do it. So he spends 200 plus years gathering wok food just so he can get his family back. And I, uh, <laughs> I understand why. So fast forward a bit, Yugo learns that he is an Eliotrope, which is a forgotten race not native to the world. And we learn that the old man who was carrying Yugo is actually a dragon, and that he's super freaking OP. Nox is still after his wok food, so they get into another even larger battle. And wait a second. One, two, three. Oh, that's just messed up. Nox is very strategic, making sure not to waste more walk food than what he gains from this fight. Ultimately, Nox finally wins, but not without being mortally wounded and slowed. It's revealed that Nox's final plan is to consume all walk food from the Tree of Life, which in turn would destroy the world. The main characters are the only ones that could stop him now, and now that he is much weaker, they can stand a chance. 
so they proceed to get their asses handed to them on a silver platter. Even in his weakened state, he still wrecks pretty much everyone. So much so that one of the main characters actually dies. In the midst of the chaos, Yuko finds the LA Cube and Nox, who was guarding it. He uses everything in his power to make the LA Cube stop working, but causes a strange reaction that teleports them somewhere. There, Yugo and Nox have their final battle. They both give it their all with Nox's stopping of time and Yugo being so strong that time doesn't affect him? But it still wasn't enough. Nox gets the opportunity to drain all the Wakfu from Yugo and basically kills him. Now with all the gathered Wakfu, he turns to the Elia Cube and rewinds time. Nox has won. His ultimate goal was achieved and now he can go back to his family. Or so it seems. He did in fact rewind time, but he only went back 20 minutes. All that gathering of 200 years plus of Wakfu for a 20 minute jump back in time. So you may be thinking, okay, so since they went back in time, one of the main characters who died should be back alive. And that's what Yugo thought too, but uh, uh oh, uh, okay, he's, he's still dead. Well, the tree of life is still okay, right? But everything else is still pretty destroyed. Huh. Bummer. You see, Nox believed that he could do it. He just needed Wakfu. Even if he did destroy the world, it was okay to him because he would just rewind time so none of that would really matter. He would never make those mistakes again. But all that's left now is just a barren wasteland that he had caused. The cube that had originally talked to him was now silent. It was gone like his dreams and his family. He had finally realized what he had done. And here's an even bigger kicker. I was rewatching the final episodes and I noticed that when Yugo had teleported him and Nox away from the Tree of Life, they ended up in quite a strange place. Now this is just a theory, but what if Yugo actually did what Nox wanted to do? They just didn't realize. When Yugo was about to unleash the final strike against Nox, he notices something far away. He sees a terrifying creature known as Ogrist. Ogrist was the cause of Nox's family's death due to his Ogrist chaos. So what if this was the day that Nox's family was going to die? What if this was 200 years in the past? Nox just didn't notice because he was too worked up about fighting Yugo. And when he beat him, he undid what Yugo had done. If that's not insult to injury, then I have no idea what is. With everything that Nox had done, you still feel sorry for him. He was just a normal man who was consumed by his mistakes. And all he wanted to do was change that. He just wanted to see his family again. And this is one of the many reasons why, in my opinion, I believe he's one of the best villains. If not, one of the most sympathetic. Thank you to everyone who stuck through the entire video and listened to what I had to say. If you're still watching this and still haven't seen the show, I still recommend it. Just because you know how the story ends doesn't make it less enjoyable to watch. Thank you. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.